Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be for MTG Xerxes tournament. Um, it has very specific rules. You should go read up about it. I'll probably leave a link to the rule section of the uh, forum. Anyway, I'm going to lead with my Obama Snow. Go for the Hidden Power Fire. He's going to lead with uh, Metagross. I'm of course using an Ice slash Steel team. He's going to trick me to give me the Iron Ball, getting rid of my Big Root, so I can't get as much recovery with my uh, Leech Seed. I'm going to predict the Switch since most Metagrosses do not carry recovery, so I'm going to go for the Leech Seed. Well, it would be a pretty good move either way, I suppose. And he's going to go into Mothership, which is pretty awesome, because um, StarCraft 2 references for the win. And yeah, I was actually not expecting Hypnosis here, although I do have a Cleric, but I also have a Sleep Talker, so had I predicted that, I could have um, gone into him, although most of these things probably do carry Thunderbolt, so it wouldn't have been the best move. So I'm going to switch out here into my Air Freshener, just because I know I can take unstabbed super effective hits, even if he does carry the Thunderbolt. He opts to go for a sub, which given the Hail and the Leech Seed, I'm not really worried about, and kind of confused me at the time. But um, he is going to Baton Pass, so that clears that up into a Gengar. Although, of course, the um, Leech Seed is going to get Baton Passed with him. So with Hail and Leech Seed, still not too worried, because as I said, I can take... Uh, super effective unstab hits, as you can clearly see with this Thunderbolt. And yeah, I went for the Heal Bell to wake up my Obama Snow, because he may be useful later. And I'm going to predict the obvious attack, and just go for the AR Roost, so that he'll be taking Hail, as well as Leech Seed damage. And at this point, I was feeling pretty good, but then he shows one of his moves to be Pain Split, which um, really means that he could probably stall me out of Roosts if he we felt like sitting here for like, you know, an hour doing that, but um, I think he decides to switch out after this Focus Blast, which, to be honest, I don't even know why he went for the Focus Blast, maybe predicting a switch, um, realizing he could maybe stall me, PP stall me, I'm not exactly sure, because that does do less damage than Thunderbolt, because it's not super effective, but he realizes with the Leech Seed, it's not the best position for him, so he is going to opt to switch out as I go for a Reflect, predicting that. Although, um, to be honest, I kind of wish I didn't carry Reflect on this thing. Um, I should have tested my team a little more before I played with it. But yeah, I'm going to switch into Skarmory, because I'm pretty sure he can't touch me. And, um, yeah, um, obviously when you see Sub, the first thing that comes to mind is, of course, a Sub Puncher. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this opportunity to set up my Spikes, because I do have two um, Phasers on this team. So I can definitely take advantage of the Entry Hazards there. And Hale's going to be working its magic on him while I pack a recovery move, and since he's an Aggron, he most likely does not. I'm um, just going to keep setting up my spikes while he goes into a Steelix. To be honest, I had no idea why he went into a Steelix. Um, I'm not really afraid of this thing whatsoever, so I'm just going to keep setting up my spikes. I wasn't too sure what a Steelix could do to me. And I make a really bad play in a moment here. He's deciding to just curse up, which doesn't bother me because I um, am a phaser, as most Skarmory are. He's going to go for a Stone Edge, which at plus one still doesn't do anything, because of course it's unstab and this is a Skarmory. My bad play was going for the Whirlwind there, rather than going for Roost. I was stuck in the mentality of like normal playing, where you'd think, oh, he's going to predict the Roost and go for an Earthquake. But um, in this tournament, there are no stab moves, so I should have realized that. And that was a bad play on my part. But um, you're bound to make a few of those kind of errors with uh, this tournament. So I'm going to go for the Roost, he's going to predict that probably, and go for the Focus Punch, because of course the Flying type is going to be taken away when Roosting, and that's going to make the um, Focus Punch be super effective. I'm just going to keep going for the Roost, hoping he'll over-predict, and um, go for a sub or something, although that would be a pretty bad move with the Hail, and Focus Punch would be great even on a Switch. So I'm kind of in a bad position here, I'm really wishing I had gone for the Roost earlier, um, and not made that critical error. However, I am going to switch out, thinking I can probably salvage my um, Skarmory later by roosting on, on that Steelix. And I go into my Simmer Down. 
Unfortunately, he is going to get a crit. And, um, yeah, that really sucked because I could have um, one-hit killed this thing for sure. So, that was pretty unfortunate for me. He's just going to finish me off with an Earthquake, go for the safe play. Pretty good on his part. And Hale is, of course, wearing down his Aggron to the point where he can be revenge killed. So I'm going to go into my Falcon Punch, and I'm going to go for the sub, just in case um, I can get some, uh, what's it called, Snow Cloak. Yes, some Snow Cloak hacks. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do here, is just sub down while Hale takes its toll on him, and hoping I can get some Snow Cloak hacks so I can have a free sub on whatever comes in next. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, I'm not going to get them. I was, yeah, hoping that with 80 base accuracy he would get the miss. And I apologize, this is slightly stallish, but um, I've watched the other tournament feature battles, and I do think this gives a new twist um, on some of the tournament play. I haven't seen some of these strategies utilized. I haven't seen some of this, these uh, team typings. And yeah, I'm pretty much hail stalling him, slash hoping for snow cloak hacks. And although I am going to be able to stall him out, I am not going to get this Noko Cax, which kind of sucks. Do, 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 do. And yeah, I'm just going to finish him off with a Psychic here, because I want to save my last substitute. Um, I'm not sure if he realizes I have another substitute left, so I'm trying to save it for perhaps a strategic uh, time. So I'm going to go for the Confuse right here, hoping I can get some Confuse or Snowclo hacks, and luckily I do get the Confuse hacks and Hale plus him hitting himself in confusion is kind of wearing him down. I'm going to opt to use my last substitute now because he did use Trick in the beginning so I'm thinking maybe he's some sort of supporting Metagross. Uh, that would be beneficial to this set. And I am just going to finish him off with a Psychic there while he hit himself again in confusion I believe. So I am getting a little bit of hacks here but in my mind it kind of evens out with the crit. But either way it's all you know kind of part of the game. So he's going to bring in this uh, uh, Steelix, and I'm just going to opt to go for the Confuse Ray, because obviously I'm going to be faster, and it's pretty much good to get Confusion on anything, plus with the Snowfold packs. And he is going to not break my sub with an Aqua Tail. Um, this thing is um, max speed mixed defenses, so it kind of makes sense that I would be able to take an unstab, um, unboosted move. And I went for the pain split there, just so I can get enough HP back to be able to make another sub if necessary. And I get a special defense drop, which didn't really matter. Um, and he's just going to go for the rest. I don't know why I didn't predict that, considering he did have curse. I should have um, thought about the fact that he had rest. Although it, it actually works out perfectly for me, because I am able to get another pain split off. Get a bunch of my health back, so I can, you know, completely reutilize this process at a later time. And now that I see that he doesn't have the sleep talk, that is going to give me the uh, confidence I need to switch back into my F that noise so I can get the roost up if he opts to switch. And even if he doesn't opt to switch, I'm pretty sure he um, won't have anything that can kill me after a roost. So he is going to switch back into the Gengar, which is a pretty good play, right as I get my roost up. And at this point, um, considering that my Articuno unfortunately has Reflect instead of an attacking move. I can't really get a safe switch into that. Well, I can get a safe switch, but it'll be not very productive, can't really do anything. So I'm going to have to use my um, uh, Skarmory as Death Water there, which is a little unfortunate. But the battle is winding down. He only has, well actually that's a lie, he has four pokes left, but a lot of them are weakened. And yeah, he's going to scout my Empoleon just by switching. Um, this tournament is a little unpredictable. He didn't really know what to do. Maybe he thought I would have a hidden power that was super effective or something. Because hidden power is very much um, common. And yeah, I'm going to opt to switch out here because I'm, I know that my Empoleon is going to be the, the main counter to his Gengar. Because I am max HP, max special defense. So I'm pretty sure I can even take a Focus Blast. And the reason I go into Articuno here is just because... I can um, try to Toxic stall this thing. Unfortunately, he does carry Taunt as well as a Berry to disable my Toxic since I'm faster. So his Sableye really um, did a great jo great job handling my Articuno there. I'm going to switch into my Snow Miser just because I need something to kind of um, butt heads with this Sableye and just sort of fodder off. 
because I, like I said, I'm going to really need that Empoleon for later. And I guess I could have switched back into the Articuno and then, um, you know, outsped and retoxicked and done some switchy stuff like that. But I don't know. I just didn't uh, go for that. I probably could have switched right here after he goes for the taunt and um, maybe heal build or something. But um, as I said, I just need something to butt heads with the sable eye. He's gonna go for the recover, which doesn't really bother me because I know that toxic will of course be adding up. And yeah, it was probably foolish of me to go for the leech see a turn or two ago. I should have just gone for the hidden power. I'm gonna get a hit, a crit, which um kind of kind of mattered. Not it's not you know end all be all of the match or anything, but any crit matters. Um, any extra damage is helpful. So he's going to go for the recover, it's not going to fully heal him up, and I'm just going to keep spamming hidden power, I don't really mind that I'm going to die. Um, like I said, just need something to wear this thing down, because I can't afford to have it um, doing anything to my Empoleon. So yeah, going to go into my Empoleon now, because I'm sure that, uh, well I was, I was feeling like Blizzard would kill, but it doesn't, it just barely doesn't, which is um, unfortunate for me. Luckily, he uh, he's just going to go for the S-Toss. He doesn't have any, I don't know, weird status move that would uh, mess me up, like Will-O-Wisp. Obviously, he can't Toxic since I am a Steel-type. And I'm just hoping that I can survive this. Um, I was actually hoping I could survive a Focus Blast, because I thought he would go for that. But he doesn't know that I'm Max HP, Max Special Defense, so he thinks that Thunderbolt will be able to kill, but that is not the case. And I thought Blizzard would be able to kill, but that is not the case. But luckily, Hale is going to be able to clean that up for me. So, this was a really great battle, dude. I think that was it. Maybe he has one more poke. Yeah, just the Steelix left, which obviously um, is just going to go down to a Blizzard. So, great game, dude. I um, really appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, this tournament is really fun. If any of you guys are in it, hope to run into you in the later rounds. And, yeah, catch you guys later. So, peace out.